Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to another episode of the Matchday Live series. It is a Thursday, which means it is the Europa League and we are back at the Emirates. We were at the Emirates, in fact I was at the Emirates on Saturday um, as Arsenal took on Southampton in the Premier League. Uh, it wasn't the best of games, so not a great performance from Arsenal, we ended in a 2-2 draw. Uh, pretty lucky actually to get the draw, but I was there as I mentioned um, in one of the My Player episodes and in the last Matchday Live episode, I did mention that I was going to be going there. So a big thank you to Budweiser and Three Mon Casinos. Um, we got the invitation to go into an executive box and enjoy the game with free beer and free food as well. And obviously a free program. Uh, met some nice people there as well. Um, so once again, thank you to everybody involved. So let's continue on then. Hopefully Arsenal can have a better result in today's game. And we are against Frankfurt, of course, of Germany. And we're hoping to get a good performance and a good victory here. Now, I think we only need a draw. So one point will make sure that we are guaranteed a place in the knockout stages of the Europa League. But obviously, if we can get a victory, that will help us finish top of the group. With one more game to go after this game has been played. Um, so as I said, hopefully a good performance. And try and get some goals. I'm sure some of the youngsters will be playing in the starting 11 tonight as well in front of the home fans and I'm sure they will be looking to make an impact as they have been doing all season so far as well and there has been a lot of talk this week of Unai Emery being sacked which I think everybody wants right now um, he's just not made anything happen at Arsenal has he really I think Arsene Wenger would have done a better job if he had stayed for the extra year or two um, so maybe if we don't get a result tonight, that could be the end of Unai Emery. Even if we do get the result tonight, um, in fact, that could be the end of Unai as well. So we'll have to wait and see. There has been a couple of names already linked with the Arsenal job, of course. Um, Pochettino, um, Allegri and Nuno from Wolverhampton Wanderers as well. The Wolves manager has been highly linked this week with the Arsenal um, position. Whether he would be the answer for Arsenal, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I don't think he's somebody that I want at the club specifically. Obviously, if he does come in as the new manager, um, I will support him, obviously. So we'll wait and see what the board decide to do and then obviously see who we go for. But if it was my choice, I think I would go for either Pochettino or Allegri. Um, I don't think Pochettino would want to manage Arsenal, especially after just leaving Spurs. Uh, I think he has Spurs on his heart, but obviously he's a manager. And if the offer comes, you never really know. He did a great job at Tottenham. Didn't win anything, uh, but did make Tottenham into a challenging team at least. Getting them into the top four and into the Champions League final. So um, he, he plays the attacking football, which Arsenal need to be playing themselves. And so, as I said, it would be him or Allegri. Allegri is a, a kind of manager who will get the results when needed. Um, so we'll, I'm not entirely sure what kind of football Nuno plays at Wolves. I don't really watch them too often, but obviously they're doing pretty decent so far this season. Um, and as we go through their Lacazette scoring Arsenal second here, we are looking good for the three points then here on FIFA 20. Now, it was great to see Lacazette scoring at the weekend in real life as well. It's the first time I've watched him play in person. Um, so seeing him get the two goals for Arsenal was pretty special. So uh, again, thank you for everybody involved for helping me get there. Um, hopefully we get to see more of Arsenal play. And in an executive box, you can't really complain, can you? Um, but let's see. Can we hold on then for the three points? Currently leading two goals to nil. It has been all Arsenal, really. A bit of a mistake there, giving the ball away. Now we need to focus at the back. Uh, which we are not doing right now. Ball played across the middle. David Luiz just took an extra step or two forward. I think he was thinking he was um, still with his um, striker, but he wasn't. And there is a goal back then for Frankfurt. Get themselves back into the game here at the Emirates Stadium. And now Arsenal do need to concentrate because they've got themselves back into the game and the momentum may just be with the German team. But maybe Bernd Leno should have done better there. David Luiz definitely should have been better there. But it is Andre Silva who gets a goal back then for Frankfurt. And are they going to push forward here looking to get themselves an equaliser? He's been taken down there by Kieran Tierney. And Tierney is going to be yellow carded. So he's got to be careful for the last 20 minutes of this match here at the Emirates Stadium. As we do lead two goals to one. 
The away side have just made a change as well. Uh, fresh legs to try and get that equalising goal. Uh, the goalkeeper holding on to that one easily. And he's going to try and get this one forward. Goes forward and he's actually giving it away. A chance here for Frankfurt. And there is the equalising goal. Just over 20 minutes to play. And somehow Frankfurt have tied things up. Not entirely sure if that was actually the defender's or the midfielder's mistake or the goalkeeper's. And uh, the goalkeeper, no, I think the goalkeeper was playing a nice ball there, but the midfielder just wasn't clocked on there. I think it was Sabellos. Uh, he wasn't um, aware of the, um, the players around him, and he should have been going towards that ball. But I think, to be honest, that's more of a FIFA 20 issue. I see a lot of it during foot champs where you play a simple ball in the midfield, and for some reason, the player behind you gets in front of you when you should really be um, on the ball first. But here is Ozil, a chance for... Arsenal to get back in front but the goalkeeper he's there to make a vital save and keeps the score level here at 2-2 um, that shot really poor shot there from Mesut Ozil should have been probably finesse it into that far corner but he kicked it right out to the goalkeeper and we do have another chance though and corner here's Sabellos nice skill over the top shoots oh keep it down daddy boy Got to keep it down from there. Another chance goes begging for Arsenal. So 2-2. The score remains. Just over 10 minutes remaining here in London. And that one is going to go out of play for an away throw. Everybody back right now for Arsenal. We don't want to be losing this one. As I said, a point will be enough then for the Gunners to progress through to the knockout stages of the Europa League. Uh, but of course, we do want the win. And is that a penalty? What on earth was that for? 10 minutes to go and the German side have a chance to win this one late on. Callum Chambers is who gave the penalty away. Um, hopefully we get to see the replay here because I have no idea exactly what that was for. Um, come on, where is this replay? Yeah, so a chance. So here is the replay. The ball comes towards him. He jumps up. They're both going for the ball. Why on earth is that a penalty? I have no idea. Uh, but that is FIFA doing FIFA things. Is it the woodwork? Oh my god. I thought that was going to bounce off the back of Martinez and go over the line there. But thankfully the goalkeeper was there to hold on to it. And maybe the counter-attack is on here for Arsenal. Here's Reese Nelson then for the Gunners. Plays it through for Lacazette. He's got space in front of him. But the defender was holding him off. Lacazette still trying to battle. He loses possession. And the chance again. Wasn't enough for Arsenal, wasn't good enough for Arsenal, but a chance maybe here for Frankfurt again. Played it through, he should have hit that one. Instead, he, I think he tried to pass it, but maybe another counter-attack for Arsenal. Meza Ozil, seconds remain, and then here at the Emirates Stadium, played nicely through. Here is Lacazette, Ozil is in the middle, he plays it through for Reese Nelson, who finds Ozil. Oh my god, what a block that was. Uh, a guaranteed goal there from Meza Ozil. Look at his clear open goal. You would think that's going into the back of net. But what an AI block that is from the defender. And it does go out of play for a corner. So it looks like this one is going to be ending 2-2. Um, unless we can do something here, which we cannot. Um, as always, guys, there will be the poll in the top right for you guys to go, to go ahead and leave your vote. Who you think is going to win? Can Arsenal get themselves back to winning ways today? Will Frankfurt cause an upset or will it end as it did today on FIFA 20 with a draw? Uh, but leave your comments below as well and I hope to see you in the next one guys. Peace.